in Z shell and bash, there's such thing as a vi mode. So usually you just type your commands down and for navigation you use like control arrows and so on, but I'm a Vim user and I like to use Vim even in the terminal. So here I am in normal mode, I come in, type something and then I can jump uh, around and do anything that I could in Vim. Uh, but this by itself is pretty limited, so there's a way to make it so uh, like you type your command, you open a Vim buffer with this command, edit it, and then when you save and close the file, you come back to your uh, prompt with this changed command. So I really like this idea and I recognize that I have a use for it elsewhere, outside of my terminal. Say I am on Discord or any place really uh, and I start typing a long ass message uh, and I understand that maybe I want to change something, maybe format it, surround something, whatever else that I have uh, a use for Vim for. Like I don't want to use control arrows. Uh, so what do I do with this? I press my special hotkey and here I am with this message uh, in VS Code where I have my new of him um, extension and now I can actually edit all of this uh, with all of my Vim motions and whatever else that I have set up. Uh, maybe like I multiply it and I'm like okay cool I'm done, let's come back, and here I just pasted all of this. Amazing. Like, I don't have to deal with annoyances of, well, of essentially not having Vim. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, so how did I do it? Using auto hotkey, and this is actually my first video of auto hotkey plus vim there's so much stuff uh, that they can be intertwined with which is scary these are the two hotkeys what else all of this uh, a bunch of abstractions that I wrote so if you're here from auto hotkey you probably know them uh, if you're uh, here from vim you don't likely Clip send is a function that, well, matter of fact, I have a video on it. Uh, the other stuff, read file, is just an abstraction to open a file, this one to be specific. Uh, it opens that file, reads all of the text, and gives me that text. Uh, paths point to files is just the path to this file. Uh, so, we read what's in this file uh, and send it when I press this hotkey of Windows Alt P. So here when I press Windows Alt P, it would send something if it wasn't empty. It wasn't empty before, we emptied it after we sent something. So after we send something, we write file, which is also an abstraction which opens the file and writes text to it, but by default it's an empty string, so we overwrite the file with nothing. Amazing. And Windows Alt M is the first action that I took, uh, like this thing. Um, so we empty the clipboard and select everything. Select all, once again an abstraction to just send Control A and we continue sending control x so essentially pressing control x until clipboard is filled with at least something uh, because at least on discord it's a pretty slow app um, if you immediately control a and control q programmatically it's way too fast 
uh, it doesn't have enough time to select and then it ends up cutting nothing and everything breaks. So essentially with this we make sure that we cut at least something and then we write file uh, the same file as this with the contents of the clipboard which, which we just got and then we run this file and by default it will open in VS Code at least for me a text file mm, all the like the file specifics are up to you. You don't even need to have these abstractions. It's just easier for me to use. And here we go. Although it's true that there is some delay, uh, but it's fast enough that I actually still enjoy it and mm, have a use for it. And then I just min max uh, VS Code using Alt A and then go boom. And here we go and if we look now it's empty because we uh, emptied it and I said min max what do I mean I recently made a whole playlist on that so essentially this is a video to show off a concept that maybe you implement this same exact way as I do but maybe you figure it out in some other fashion because the idea is very nice. It makes sense to have. If you're a Vim user, you probably want to have Vim literally everywhere. This is a way to have Vim kind of everywhere. Um, but yeah, it relies on Control A and Control X working. Control A selecting everything and Control X uh, cutting, which is most applications. Um, for the terminal, once again, there is a different solution. Uh, I leave two links to videos uh, which explain how to set that up, like the whole Vim mode uh, in the terminal, in Z shell specifically. Um, yeah, you'll learn everything there. The reason why I'm not making a video on Vim mode is because there are already pretty good explanations on it. Uh, but to sell this completely, uh, say you want to spam effectively um, and say I want an emoji, I want to spam, spam that emoji, we go boom, come here uh, and let's just do like a hundred I, we paste that boom power of vim once again uh, and then we come back and do this should in theory work boom amazing so if you enjoyed this video press a like type some comment maybe you have a question or a suggestion definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags. Now, I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.